I'm Muniba Mazari, and we are here today in APS Peshawar. You can see the building um, of Arun Public School Peshawar with all its glory and all its grandeur. And I'm rolling right now with these amazing, strong kids of APS Peshawar. All these Ghazis, the future of Pakistan. Today we are here to commemorate all the sacrifices that our kids have have given last year. And it's been a year now. What we have learned as a nation is that while we were busy with petty issues when we used to discuss random arguments, when we were busy with that, our kids sacrificed their lives for us, for Pakistan. And today I feel so honored that I'm here with all these brave hearts, all these Ghazis, the future of Pakistan. Today we'll spend our day with them. This is the time to ask them that what they are looking forward to. What keeps them motivated? Do they love Pakistan? And if they love Pakistan, what is the best thing that keeps them united? And what is this strong force which asks them to come in the same school where they have lost their friends and their families? So we are here to celebrate this day of victory with all these amazing kids. Stay with us. Right now, I'm sitting with these amazing APS kids. Last year, I came here uh, right after the incident just to deliver a motivational session. And the kind of resilience and motivation I observed and I witnessed, I can see the same right now. Um, I really want all of you to know what inspires these, these amazing children and what is the motivational force behind this. I really want to talk about this with these children today. Um, here we have this young boy. I want to know what's your name? My name is Marcel Ibrahim. Sorry? Marcel Ibrahim. Okay, tell me in which class are you? Uh, now I'm studying in 7D. 7D? Seventh grade? Yes. Right. Um, tell me, who is your inspiration? Who inspires you the most? General Ryan Sharif. That's great. That's great. Any message you want to give to him directly? I want to say uh, that uh, keep the operation going on, uh, which is up, and keep killing the terrorists. <laughs> and uh, when they kill the terrorists, uh, they feel uh, we feel happy and uh, finish the terrorists from our country. Whatever happened on 16th, do you think the terrorists were strong? That's why they did this. Any message you want to sh to tell them that how coward they are? What do you want to say to all those terrorists? And we will study back and uh, we will take our revenge from, uh, by, uh, by the studying more and more. And uh, we will tell them that we are not uh, lazy or we are not uh, cowards. And we will tell them that uh, we will fight back and study and uh, become an uh, educa education man and uh, we will show them. Definitely. What do you want to be when you will grow up? Uh, I want to be a businessman. You want to be a businessman? Yeah. Okay, we wish you all the best, Neta. Thank you. Good luck. You are the peacekeeper of APS. What's your name? Samir. Samir, you are the peacekeeper in yes. APS. Yes. Right? What does it mean? What do you do as a peacekeeper? I make peace in the class. You make peace in the class. There are some people in our country um, who do not want to see peace in our country. Right? Any message you want to give to them? I will give the message that uh, uh, we are educating here for making peace and uh, to stop terrorism. Mm. So you, you actually understand that if you want to stop terrorism, you should yes. study more, you yes. should work more. And that's how we'll fight back. Yes. That's your message. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. What's your name? Muhammad Saad. Okay. And what class are you in? It's eight. You're in eight? Yes. So are you giving your exams these days? No. No? We have given it. You have given already? Okay. Tell me what do you want to be when you will grow up? Army pilot. Army pilot? Okay. And what inspires you to be an army pilot? Is there someone in your family who inspires you? Yes, my dad. Your father, he inspires you. We all wish you all the best. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Julia Hamid. And okay, which class are you in? Uh, fourth yellow. Fourth yellow, right. And you are the captain. What do you do as a captain in your class? Uh, Ma'am, I maintain peace and 
not in my class, in our whole sections of four. Oh, wow, that's great. It's a huge responsibility, right? Yes. So with the great power comes the great responsibility? Yes, ma'am. That's wonderful. And I, I hope and I pray that you'll be a responsible citizen, inshallah. And you'll keep peace in the whole country. Inshallah. What do you want to be? What is your aspiration? I want to be a, a, an army doctor. Army doctor. And what do you want to do being in army as a doctor? I will help uh, the injured people who will be uh, injured uh, in our country mm -hmm. and help them by uh, by giving medicines and I will not uh, take so many money. From you won't it. take the money. That's no, ma'am. I didn't. I want. Uh, I don't want to take. You don't want to take. Yes, you will never take money. That's for sure. Yes. That's great. That's going to be a great contribution to the country. Yes, sir. Thank you. We wish you all the best. Okay. Thank you so much, Ida. Thank you. What's your name? Abdullah Khan. Abdullah Khan, tell me about your class and section. I'm in uh, eighth standard and uh, I'm in six, uh, C section. Tell me, what have you learned so far from this incident that happened last year? Well, uh, at the start we were a bit scared and uh, frightened to come to school, but after the day spent and uh, our teachers and our, this institute motivated us for, for this education, and uh, now that motivation result as uh, we are sitting in front of you and we are and you are talking yes and you know what you are such an inspiration for all pakistanis you all children have united all of us as a nation and we are so proud of you thank you wonderful thank you so much okay now we have some kids who really want to talk in urdu so we have some questions okay she really wants to talk kya naam hai aapka alishba alishba aap kaun si class mein ho four fourth mein ho ये बताइए कि बड़े होके आप क्या बनेंगी मैम इन आर्मी यू वांट टू गो इन आर्मी आर्मी में एज अ डॉक्टर जाएंगी या वॉर जोन में जाएंगी मैम वॉर वॉर जोन में जाएंगी किससे मुकाबला करेंगी मैम जिन्होंने हमारे भाइयों को शहीद किया मैम हमारी प्रिंसिपल मैम हमारी टीचर्स को शहीद क्या मैसेज दोगी उनको मैम उनको ये ये कहूँगी कि हम डरने वाले नहीं हैं हम आप लोग के हम आपको मुँह तोड़ के जवाब देंगे और हम पढ़ेंगे हम मेहनत करेंगे एंड वील मेक द फ्यूचर ऑफ द कंट्री इन शाल द फ्यूचर आप सब हमारा मुस्तबिल हो प्राउड ऑफ यू थैंक यू बेटा थैंक यू हमारे पास एक बहुत क्यूट सी डॉल और है आपका क्या नाम है हिजाब हिजाब आप कौन सी क्लास में हो फिफ्थ हिजाब बड़े होके क्या बनेंगी आर्मी डॉक्टर आर्मी डॉक्टर आर्मी डॉक्टर बन के किन की हेल्प करेंगी जो आर्मी में जिनको टेरिस ने मारा है उनको जख्मी किया है yes, उनका इलाज करेंगी जी उनको दोबारा से स्ट्रॉन्ग करेंगी जी और बिग से स्माइल देकर अच्छी वाली डॉक्टर बनेंगी कुछ डॉक्टर्स तो डांटते भी हैं ना आप डांटने वाली डॉक्टर बनोगी no. नहीं स्माइल करने वाली बनोगी स्टूडेंटर I want to be a um, army doctor. You want to be an army doctor, and I want to know that why you want to join army as a doctor. I want to join as a uh, army doctor because I want to help all of the army people who get injured uh, in the war. And you want to help them. Yes. And you want to help them in recovering. That's brilliant. Thank you so much. हमारे पास एक और student है जो हमसे बात करना चाहते हैं. फिर आपने नाम बताइए. मेरा नाम सैयद मोहम्मद साम है और मैं फर्स्ट ईयर का स्टूडेंट हूँ फर्स्ट ईयर के स्टूडेंट हैं जी लास्ट ईयर जब इंसिडेंट हुआ आप यहीं पे पढ़ रहे थे तब जी मैं ऑडिटोरियम में मौजूद उस टाइम अंदर से डू यू थिंक दैट यू आर अ डिफरेंट पर्सन नाउ यस बिकॉज हमारे हौसले जो है उससे और बुलंद हो गए क्योंकि हमारे दोस्त शहीद हुए उनके जाने का दुख तो हमें बहुत होता है तो हमने ये आजम किया कि हम आगे पढ़ेंगे और दहशत गर्दों को पढ़ाई के जरिए हम आ रहेंगे इन कौन सा दोस्त सबसे ज़्यादा याद आता है उस्मान अबासी बेटा आपका नाम क्या है अबू बकर अबू बकर कौन सी क्लास में एट में ये बताइए कि वन यू विल ग्रो अप पाकिस्तान में क्या चीज़ है कोई एक चीज़ जो आप चेंज करना चाहते हो जिससे आपको लगता है कि जब ये चेंज हो जाएगा सब कुछ ठीक हो जाएगा करप्शन करप्शन दैट्स द मेजर एलिमेंट तो जब हम करप्शन से पाक हो जाएंगे और अपने मुल्क के साथ लॉयल होंगे तो फिर सारे मसले हल हो जाएंगे वेल डन थैंक यू सो मच क्या नाम है आपका मोहम्मद असाम आप कौन सी क्लास में नाइन्थ में 
सैम ये बताओ लास्ट ईयर जब इंसिडेंट हुआ आप यहीं पर थे जी इन ऑडिटोरियम में आप ऑडिटोरियम में थे जी आप ये बताओ कि खुद को कितना मजबूत पाते हो आप उस इंसिडेंट के बाद और किस चीज ने आपको मजीद मोटिवेट किया कि आप वापस इस स्कूल में आओ और मजीद पढ़ो हमें तो एक तो टीचर्स ने बहुत सपोर्ट किया और एक पाक आर्मी ने बहुत सपोर्ट किया जिसकी वजह से हम बहुत मोटिवेट हो गए और और हमें जज्बा पैदा हो गया कि हम बड़े होकर आर्मी ऑफिसर बने और अपने अपने फ्रेंड्स का बदला ले सके बड़े होकर आर्मी ऑफिसर बनोगे पहले तो डॉक्टर्स की डॉक्टर बनने की ख्वाहिश थी जब इंसिडेंट के बाद अब ख्वाहिश है कि आर्मी ऑफिसर बने और आर्मी ऑफिसर बने और अपने फ्रेंड्स का बदला लें Wish you all the best. आपका क्या नाम है मेरा नाम अब्दुल खालिक रहमान आप कौन सी क्लास में मैं नाइन्थ क्लास में बड़े के क्या बनना चाहते हो पाक आर्मी ज्वाइन करना चाहता हूँ पाक आर्मी और पाकिस्तान आर्मी में कौन आपको सबसे ज्यादा इंस्पायर करता है आपका हीरो जनरल राइल शरीफ उनको कोई मैसेज देना चाहोगे हम यही मैसेज देना चाहते हैं कि वो जरबियात को बहुत जल्दी ख़त्म कर दें और इस तरह दोबारा कोई वाक्य ना हो जिस तरह सिक्सटीन दिसंबर को हमारे स्कूल में हुआ है वालेकुम अस्सलाम आपका नाम जी मेरा नाम मोहम्मद शाह खान है आप आपने एपीएस अभी रिसेंटली ज्वाइन किया है या आप लास्ट ईयर भी यहां पर थे मैंने भी ज्वाइन किया है इसलिए आपने रिसेंटली ज्वाइन किया है yes, मैं, मैंने इसलिए ज्वाइन किया है कि दहशत गर्दों ने जब हमला किया जब आ, बस मेरे जज्बा उठा तो मैंने कहा कि हम अभी जाएंगे और ज़रूर दहशत गर्दों से बदला लेंगे तो आपने उस इंसिडेंट के बाद यहाँ पर खुद से एडमिशन लिया मैंने अब उसे कहा कि मेरा दाखिल स्कूल पे ले तो उसने कहा कि तो आपके घर वालों का क्या रिएक्शन था उस पर मैंने उसे कहा कि हमारे दोस्त शहीद हुए हम उसके इन मैं उसको बदला लूँगा इन ज़रूर और आप यहाँ पर आकर पढ़ कर उनसे बदला लोगे इन आपका नाम सैद फैजान सैयद फैजान फैजान आप कौन सी क्लास में हो मैं एट्थ में हूँ और पिछले साल में सेवन ऐसा हुआ कि पहले आप कुछ और बनना चाहते थे और उस इंसिडेंट के बाद आपको एकदम ख्याल आया कि अब जब मैं बड़ा हूँ तो मैं ये बनूँगा जी मुझे इंजीनियर बनने का शौक था और जब ये इंसिडेंट हुआ है तो मेरा जो एम था वो बदल गया है और मैं अभी पाक आर्मी ज्वाइन करना चाहता हूँ क्या मैसेज देना चाहोगे उन सब फौजी भाइयों को जो हम सब की हिफाजत कर रहे हैं बॉर्डर के ऊपर हर जगह मैं तो बहुत ही खुश हूँ कि उन्होंने सबसे पहले जो हमें यहाँ पर रेस्क्यू किया है हमारी जान बचाई है और हमें इन दहशत गर्दों से बचाया है उन्होंने हमारी जान बचाई है तो मैं ये कहना चाहूँगा कि मैं उनको आ, मेरे पास अल्फाज नहीं है कि मैं उनको किस तरह थैंक थैंक हूँ अच्छा मुझे ये बताओ क्या कहोगे उन लोगों को जो ालम हैं और जिनको लगता है कि बच्चों पर हमला करके हमारे बच्चों पर हमला करके वो हमें डरा देंगे और हमें पढ़ने से रोक देंगे क्या कहोगे उनको ये जो दहशत गर्द थे ये ये सोच कर आए थे कि हम हमला करेंगे इनकी तालीम रोक देंगे लेकिन ये बिल्कुल गलत थे क्योंकि हम 12 जनवरी के बाद दोबारा आए हैं और इनका बदला ज़रूर लेंगे और ये हम तालीम हासिल करके हम इनका बदला ले सकते हैं ये 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 ना सोचे कि हमने इन पर हमला किया और फिर ये कभी तालीम हासिल करने लायक नहीं होंगे लेकिन हम करेंगे तालीम थैंक यू बेटा वी प्राउड ऑफ यू पाकिस्तान Welcome back. Uh, right now, we are here with the teachers of APS. Uh, the attack that basically the whole incident that took place last year. We all have witnessed the role of teachers, the way they saved children's lives, and the way the principal of the school got martyred. Um, what a strong woman she was. The way she said that these are all my children. Um, we are here with these teachers. They have gone through so much, and it's been a year now. I just want to know. their feelings and their emotions right now and where they see APS in the coming years is pure incident ke andar uh main hamesha ek baat kehti hu ke is qoum ko dobara se zinda kiya is incident ne hum sare ikatthe ho gaye hum sare bikhre hue the aapko as a teacher apne andar kya tabdili mehsoos hui um basically jo सबसे यानी इंसिडेंट को तो सबको पता है कि इट वाज अ टेरिबल इंसिडेंट और फिर जो इन एन एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन तो मकसद ही उनका यही था कि वो इस चीज़ को जो है वो हिंड्रेंस एज अ हिंड्रेंस वो काम करें 
तो बेसिकली यहाँ पे दोबारा आने का और ज्वाइन करने का और इन सब चीज़ों का पसे मंजर सामने रखते हुए मैं ये कहना चाहूँगी कि प्रीवियसली जो थे हम इसी इंस्टीट्यूशन में तालीम के ही मकसद के लिए थे और प्रेजेंट में अभी भी आपके सामने और इन इन फ्यूचर वी विल वर्क अगेन विद द सेम एम अफसोस की बात यह है कि दहशत ने स्कूल जैसी जगह को चुना है बिल्कुल और उनका आ, मकसद यही है कि किसी न किसी तरह इन बच्चों को एजुकेशन में पीछे रखा जाए लेकिन आपने देखा कि जैसे उन्होंने जो हमारे बच्चे शहीद हुए हमारे टीचर शहीद हुए तो मेन मकसद तो उनका यही था लेकिन उसके बाद आप देखिए हमारे स्कूल की स्ट्रेंथ कितनी ज़्यादा बढ़ गई है और हमारे बच्चे जो हैं और जितने टीचर्स हम लोग हैं हम अब बहुत ज़्यादा डिटर्मेंड हैं हमारे हौसले बहुत बुलंद हैं और सिक्सटीन दिसंबर जो था इट इट इज़ जस्ट लाइक अ टर्निंग पॉइंट इन माई लाइफ उसकी वजह से मेरी पूरी की पूरी ज़िंदगी और तमाम टीचर्स की ये पूरी तरह टर्न होगी इस तरह कि पहले तो हम बहुत मौत से डरते थे हमें डर लगता था और अब हम आपने देखा बेखौफ हो के जैसे ही सिक्सटीन दिसंबर के बाद इन्होंने हमें बुलाया हम दोबारा आ गए हमारे बच्चे भी इसी तरह पूरी आ, आ, वो इनक्रेज हैं और पूरी डिटर्मिनेशन के साथ वो दोबारा वापस आए और उनमें वही जोश व खरोश है कोई भी एबसेंट नहीं हुआ ना किसी ने स्कूल छोड़ा ना किसी टीचर्स ने छोड़ा तो आ, ये जितना भी है सब के सब इन हमारी ये स्कूल जो है अब देखेंगे यूनिवर्सिटी का दर्जा लेगी और हमारे यही बच्चे बड़े हो के देखें किस तरह हमारी स्कूल को कौम की खिदमत करेंगे और हर प्रोफेशनल जितने कॉलेजेस हैं उनमें से प्रोफेशनल बन के निकलेंगे और इन्हीं लोगों की खिदमत करेंगे और बहुत ज़्यादा नाम कमाएंगे ये मुल्क बहुत आगे जाएगा इन शाइकोलॉजिकली जब बच्चों पर इस चीज़ का असर होता है आई एम श्योर बहुत से बच्चों ने अपने बहुत सारे दोस्त बहन भाई माएँ खोई इस इंसिडेंट में कितना मुश्किल था एज ए टीचर उन बच्चों को दोबारा से गैदर करना और उनको मोटिवेट करना बच्चे आहिस्ता आहिस्ता जब अपनी उन्हीं क्लासेस में उन्हीं टीचर्स के साथ उन्हीं किताबों के साथ वो जब रेगुलर हो गए अब देखें माशाल्लाह से हमारे बच्चे काफ़ी स्टेबल हो गए हैं बहुत हौसला है उनमें बहुत हिम्मत है अब जब ये फंक्शन भी हमारा सिक्सटीन का आ रहा है बच्चे एक नए हौसले और एक नए जज्बे के साथ कर रहे हैं कि हम अपने उन शहीद बहन भाइयों के लिए हम अपने उन शहीद टीचर्स के लिए कुछ इस तरीके से उनकी खिदमत कर सकते हैं कुछ इस तरीके से अपना कुछ ना कुछ हम कंट्रीब्यूट उनके लिए इस तरीके से कर सकते हैं सिर्फ हाथा पाई नहीं है तालीम के जरिए उन लोगों बिल्कुल को बनाना है बिल्कुल हमारा मकसद भी जो टीचर है चाहे वो एपीएस का है चाहे किसी और इदारे का है उसने एक इंसान का किरदार बनाना होता है हमारा काम सिर्फ बच्चों को किताबें पढ़ाना नहीं है क्योंकि आजकल आप देखते हैं पेरेंट्स भी एजुकेटेड होते हैं किताबें पढ़ाना टीचर का काम नहीं एक पूरा इंसान बनाना करेक्टर बिल्डिंग बिल्कुल वही चीज़ हमने एक मुकम्मल इंसान बनाना होता है जो फिजिकली मेंटली बहुत पावरफुल आई वाज रियली अमेज जो मुझे पता लगा यहाँ पर कि इंसिडेंट के बाद यहाँ पर एडमिशन की तादाद बहुत बढ़ गई बहुत से लोगों ने एडमिशन लिया तो वट यू थिंक ऐसी क्या चीज़ है जो पेरेंट्स को और उन स्टूडेंट्स को मोटिवेट करती है कि अब हमने ए पी एस पिशावर में पढ़ना है यहाँ में टीचर्स में समझूंगी कि टीचर्स का ऐसा किरदार रहा है पहले दिन से आज इस वक्त तक पूरा एक साल कम्प्लीट हो गया है लेकिन मैं कहती हूँ कि टीचर्स का ऐसा किरदार रहा है कि उन्होंने अपने मोरल को नीचे नहीं आने दिया तो बहुत से पेरेंट्स ने इन टीचर्स की इसी मोरल को भी देखते हुए प्लस एक वर्ल्ड वाइड मैं कहती हूँ के बाद इस इंस्टीट्यूशन ने एक वो जगह बनाई है अपनी कि आप खुद ही देखते होंगे मुख्तलिफ चैनल्स के ऊपर भी यहाँ के जो बच्चों के आ, मतलब जिनको जिनको कवरेज दी गई है या जिनको आ, सामने आने का मौका दिया गया आप उनसे खुद ही अंदाज़ा लगा लें कि उन बच्चों के मोरल्स कितने हाई हैं That's great. Mashallah. और इस स्कूल का जो इम्पैक्ट है दैट्स ऑन द होल वर्ल्ड इट्स नॉट जस्ट फॉर द पाकिस्तान दिस इंसिडेंस इज शुक द होल वर्ल्ड पीपल एवरीवेयर क्राइड फॉर आर चिल्ड्रन एंड दैट हैज री यूनाइटेड अस ऑल क्या मैसेज देना चाहेंगी टीचर्स को जो इस वक्त आपको देख रही हैं पूरे पाकिस्तान में जो टीचर्स हैं एक ए पी की टीचर का मैसेज सब उस्तादों के लिए मैं ये कहना चाहूँगी कि ब्रेव बन के रहें किसी से ना डरें और अपने जज्बे के साथ सच्चे जज्बे के साथ बहादुरी के जज्बे के साथ वो टीचिंग करें क्योंकि टीचर्स को बहादुर देखकर ही स्टूडेंट्स बहादुर होते हैं लास्ट ईयर वन आई केम यू आर हेयर एंड यू आर सो सपोर्टिव यू आर सच स्ट्रॉन्ग सपोर्ट फॉर ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हेयर इन एपीएस टेल एस अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल 
of APS who gave her life and she just wanted to save the children and she said that all these children are mine. She owned the students as her own kids. What do you want to say about her? Uh, well, truly, uh, she was uh, the lady to be remembered forever. As uh, Mrs. Kazi, uh, the wonderful lady, the pioneer of these institutions. Uh, one thing which I realize all the time, commitment. She has shown a great commitment during her job and uh, the way you know she was showing her commitments in the age of 64 and uh, so it was going to give us a, a new uh, a new energy at time she was working with us and uh, at time you know when i was at my in my own office and i was looking uh, just not for myself i was looking for her i was just calling her to where she used to be and they're the same attitude I was looking for from her side, you know. They, but all of her mobile was off, you know, at that time. And I feel these were the commitment which, I, which we, have, uh, we have seen in her character. And that we were caring of one another, she was very caring of one another. When she was loving everyone and she was going to get everything, you know, in time from everybody. And this was the things, you know, which we still keep us you know, live in this institution, that uh, the lady uh, who lived such kind of uh, uh, remarkable life, she should be remembered forever, uh, and she's still alive in our hearts. She's, she's still alive, alive in our, in our hearts. hearts. She's alive in the hearts of the nation, absolutely. I want to know about the, the re rehabilitation that you were talking about previously. Uh, how hard was it to talk to the kids who were psychologically traumatized because of the incident? Interestingly, uh, when you come to the administration, so you are going to just build up your own muscle very strong. And for that reason, you know, if you are showing yourself the role model for every staff member, so then uh, the, the same, uh, you are going to get it in uh, response. And there's there, you know, first thing which, were, which we have built up, the positive attitude towards staff members the positive attitude towards the students and we were not going to expect anything from the uh, the, the same from the um, families who have been hurt who have just changed their attitude toward the institution we that was the main thing from where we have started to rebuild this institution and this this acknowledgement the, the this the outsider have taken it and then uh, they, they started to uh, come for, for admission where I have seen a lot of rush in my office, you know, the, some were showing their uh, aptitude that we, we wanted to get admission in this, uh, in this institution just to have the, the uh, to show the solidarity with the Motai student who have uh, given a great sacrifice with this institution. And now we want to give a good name to this institution. So in this way, you know, by one way or the other way, we were getting very, very positive response from the people as well. And this is what I would say that the people of this area are really brave, very courageous, that they are still believing in this institution. They're still believing in the staff they are teaching here because really we have a very good staff. We have very good staff like Mrs. Taira Kazi, who have left behind uh, the, 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 the ideas and the everything. And the but, legacy to follow. Yeah, and we are, we are following them. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. What's your name? Uh, Samin Yaman. And in which class are you studying now? Uh, I'm in matric. You're in matric. Okay. You are a strong, strong boy. You are a Ghazi. And would you like to share a few memories about whatever happened last year with us? Uh, last year we were sitting in the in the auditorium. Uh, it was about uh, our fourth period, and uh, we are told that uh, we are having our uh, first aid training. And uh, um, when the training uh, started, after five or ten minutes, uh, they entered from the back door, and uh, they started firing. And uh, some of the students uh, escaped. Uh, from the hall and uh, some wa uh, some was uh, uh, hiding themselves uh, behind the chairs and uh, uh, they were coming to each row and uh, hitting each and every person of the row and uh, I was sitting uh, in the third last row in the auditorium and uh, I got a bullet in my abdomen and uh, when they uh, escaped uh, out of the uh, front door of the auditorium then uh, we escaped from the back door towards the um, school wing. 
and we uh, hide ourselves uh, in the classes. And uh, I was in class 7th E. And then after uh, 45 to 50 minutes, uh, we were rescued by the army. And you got injured in it? Yep. And for how long you stayed in the hospital? And I was uh, about 10 to 15 days in the hospital. And now you are fully recovered, mashallah? Uh, yes. Back in school? Yep. With high spirits? Yes. What do you want to be when you will grow up? Uh, I want to be an engineer. Engineer? Yep. What kind of engineer? Electrical. Electrical. Why electrical? Why not mechanical or civil or? Um, it's my aim to be an electrical engineer. And who's your inspiration? Who inspires you to be who you are today? Such strength and you know such resilience you have. Who inspires you? Uh, all my family, all family members, all okay. friends, especially my father and mother. After this great conversation with all the teachers of APS, I'm thankful that they took our time, they sat with us and they shared their memories and their experiences. And when we have these strong teachers in Pakistan, I'm sure this country will be a better place for everyone, for every child of the country, inshallah ta'ala. And now we are going to take a short break. And after the break, I'm going to make you meet a very amazing, a very strong boy, Walid Khan and his family. The boy whose story has moved us all. And he inspires so many, he has no idea. And we are definitely going to go to him and we'll talk to him and we'll share the story with you. Stay with us. Welcome back. We are here with Walid, our hero, our star. Um, whole Pakistan loves him. And why this is so, it's basically I got to know about him when I visited CMH last year. Um, this boy inspired me so much. Uh, the doctor over there was talking about Walid and he was saying that this boy has, um, has gone through so much pain and he's still in pain. But you have to meet him and you know, he'll feel motivated. And I was just wondering that a boy who has gone through so much, how I can be able to motivate that child. Uh, while I was thinking that, um, a boy with a big smile on his face was rolling towards me on the wheelchair. And the first thing we did was we took a selfie. Yeah. <laughs> and from that day on, we are best friends. And he's like my baby brothers. And he's here with us, with his whole family. Walid Khan, thank you so much for taking our time. And how are you doing now? I'm much better now. Thanks to Allah that now I am much better and I'm feeling good now. Great. Do you know you are such an inspiration for everyone? Do you know yeah. that? Yeah, I Do you know, know how many people in Pakistan and abroad loved you? Yeah, uh, first of all, I would like to thank all the people for their love and support. And then I would like to thank you, Nibapi. You are such an inspiration. No. <laughs> You are my hero and you know this. So Waleed, your story has inspired so many people. There are people who really don't know. Now they see you, beautiful smile on your face, but they really want to know the story of pain, the injuries that you had last year. I was in APS and I was shot in the incident and I was injured in that incident and I got eight bullets, uh, six on my face and one on my leg and one on my hand and I I got some some more injuries uh, like bomb shells and now I was in CMH for many months and then I went abroad for uh, further treatment to England and, and now I'm much better now. And you're back and you're so resilient and you're so strong, mashallah, that you're spreading strength everywhere. Valid, this whole incident of pain and injuries, do you think you are a stronger person now? After this incident, I got to know about my uh, strength and my positive powers and all the positivity inside me. Do you like Pakistan? Do you love Pakistan? Yeah, I love Pakistan more than uh, before this incident. Uh, we don't know the value of Pakistan and education, but after that incident, uh, we got to know the value of our country and education. Wow. 
What is the best thing that you love the most about Pakistan? One thing. The, the best thing I love about Pakistan is that here everyone is ready to give to sacrifice for his country. The best thing is that I love Pak Army. You sound like a soldier. What do you want to be when you will grow up? Uh, inshallah, I will join Pakistan Army or Air Force. <laughs> Wonderful. That's great. That's great. Tell us about your hobbies, Walid. What do you want to do when you are free and your passions, your hobby? My hobbies are nowadays I am writing a diary, uh, my own diary on APS incidents. Uh, and in, in free time, I used to play cricket with, with my brothers. <laughs> Wow, that's great. So are you planning to publish the diary also? Walid's no. Diary, maybe. That can be the name of your book. Have you ever thought about I it? I don't know about it. But who knows? <laughs> maybe one day Walid will be an author of a famous book, inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. Walid, there are many kids who are watching you right now. You are a symbol of strength and determination. What message do you want to give? to the kids or to everyone, all Pakistan. I want to give the message to all Pakistan that uh, as you know, to get, uh, education is a vital thing in life. So we have to get education uh, and uh, education is the main thing in Pakistan. So we don't have uh, uh, educated, educated people in Pakistan. So uh, if we want our country to be the number one, so we have to get education and we have to be educated. And the people who attacked our children, who attacked you, of course they were not educated. They were not good human beings. That's why they were hurting everyone. What do you want to say to them? Because today you are here as our hero. You are the national hero. What would you like to say to them? I would like to say to them that if you want to destroy the peace of our country and whatever you want to do, but uh, you can kill us, but you cannot kill our, uh, you know, you cannot kill our confidence, our, uh, uh, our hope, our hope, and mm. you can kill us, but you cannot kill uh, the our sacrifices and my friends, uh, uh, and you cannot kill our motivations. We have Walid with us to yeah. keep us motivated, inshallah. Yeah. Walid's mother is with us now, and we'd like to talk to her. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> आप एक इतने बहादुर से बेटे की इतनी बहादुर सी माँ हैं हमने आपको एक साल हम आपसे बार बार मिले और आप आपसे जब जब मिलते हैं आप कहीं ज़्यादा मजबूत पाई जाती हैं और ये सारी मजबूती जो आज वलीद में है वो दैट्स बिकॉज ऑफ यू आप ये बताइए कि इतने बहादुर बच्चे की माँ होना कैसा लगता है आपको फ़ख्र महसूस करती हूँ इस बहादुर बच्चे पर पहले तो अल्लाह तला का शुक्र अदा करती हूँ कि उसने वलीद को ऑडिटोरियम से इतनी बहादुरी से वो निकला वो दिन जब भी याद आता है तो रोना आता है सिक्सटीन दिसंबर फिर नज़दीक आ रहा है तो दिल बस कुछ घबरा घबरा ऐसा है ये रोज़ स्कूल जाता है तो जब ये जाता है तो मैं नफल पढ़ लेती हूँ सारे बच्चों के लिए लेकिन दिल अभी उसी तरह है ना दिसंबर जैसे ही शुरू हुआ तो वो याद है ताज़ा हो गई सारी और अब जब वलीद हमारे सामने हैं और इनके पैशंस और इनके ड्रीम्स के बारे में अभी हम बात कर रहे थे कि या सच बिग प्लान्स इन इज लाइफ कैसा लगता है आपको कि वो बच्चा इतना मजबूत और इतना ताकतवर है आज भी माशाल्लाह सबके लिए मिसाल है हाँ माशा ये बहुत हालांकि मुझे यकीन नहीं था कि ये इतना बहादुर होगा लेकिन बस अल्लाह तला ने इसको इतना बहादुर बनाया और अब तो ये बहुत ज़्यादा होशियार हो गया जब मैं रोती हूँ ना तो कहती है मम्मा अब मैं तुम्हारे सामने हूँ तुम क्यों रो रही हो हाँ मुझे तो सलियाँ देते हैं सुबह भी मुझे कहते हैं मम्मा मैं आपके सामने हूँ फिर भी आप रोती है मैं कहा ना ये इसलिए रोती हूँ कि बस जाहिर है इसकी पुरानी इसकी पुरानी तस्वीर को जब देखती हूँ ना तो जाहिर है माँ हूँ you inspire me every minute. I really like you for that. 
वी हैव अलीस फादर विद अस सबसे पहले तो हम सलाम करते हैं आपको आपकी इस मजबूती को आज वलीद जितना मजबूत हो ये जितनी ये मेडल वाली बातें कर रहा है आई एम श्योर ये आपकी सपोर्ट और आपकी स्ट्रेंथ की वजह से है क्योंकि आपने उस वक्त वलीद को बच्चों में से ढूंढ कर निकाला एंड देन यू वेंट थ्रू ऑल दैट पेन और साबिर रहे आप मजबूत रहे आप क्योंकि आप इसके सामने बिखरना नहीं चाहते थे और आज वलीद आपके साथ है बताइए कैसा महसूस करते हैं आप बजी सबसे पहले तो मैं अल्लाह का शुक्र अदा करता हूँ कि अल्लाह ताली ने वलीद को नई ज़िंदगी दी क्योंकि वलीद को तो उन लोगों ने लाशों में पहका था और वलीद को तो मुर्दा ही समझ गए लेकिन अल्लाह ने जब बचाना था तो अल्लाह ने इसको सबसे पहले यही फिर तो नर्स ने कहा कि भाई ये तो बच्चा तो ज़िंदा है ये तो सांस ले रहा है ये तो किसी ने पूछा कि भाई वली तुम को अब्दुलसीब हो उसने कहा कि नहीं मैं इसने इशारा किया हाथ से कि नहीं मैं वली तो फिर नर्स ने देखा कि भाई ये तो इशारे सवाल के जवाब भी दे रहे ये जिंदा है फिर डॉक्टर ने इसको उठाया ऑपरेशन ओ टी में ले गए तो ये कह रहे कि ओ टी तक मैं होश में था तो ये सब जी अल्लाह की मेहरबानी और बस और कुछ नहीं जी अल्लाह की करम था और अभी तो हमें खुशी है और हम बड़ा खुशी महसूस कर रहे हैं कि इस वलीद को अल्लाह ताली ने ज़िंदगी दी और उसको ये बच्चे जो हमारे बच्चे इन शाला ये इलम के लिए गए थे इन शाला इलम हासिल करने के लिए ये इलम की इन्होंने इलम की जो क्षमा था इस उसको इन्होंने रोशन किया और इन शोशन रखेंगे इन शाला ये इन शाला डू यू नो वट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ लाइफ नाउ फॉर यू वट इज़ द मीनिंग बिहाइंड दिस अदर लाइफ दैट अल्लाह टू यू नाउ The meaning behind this life is that now I have to get education and I have to get the revenge of my friends and I have to spread happiness all over the world. With this beautiful smile, you'll keep smiling and the whole world will smile. Keep inspiring, Walid. Thank you so much, Walid. You have a beautiful voice. Do you have a beautiful voice? You want to say? Of course, you have. You want to sing something? Please sing something for us, for Pakistan. I will sing Baradashman song. पता क्या पूछता है वो किताबों में मिलूंगा मैं किए माँ से है मैंने के वादों में मिलूंगा मैं मैं आने वाला कल हूँ वो मुझे क्यों आज मारेगा ये उसका वहम होगा कि वो ऐसे ख्वाब मारेगा तुम्हारा खून होना इसलिए अच्छा लड़ा हूँ मैं बताया ये दुश्मन को कि उससे तो बड़ा हूँ मैं मैं सी कौम से हूँ जिसके वो बच्चों से डरता है बड़ा दुश्मन बना फिरता है जो बच्चों से लड़ता है बड़ा दुश्मन बना फिरता है जो बच्चों से लड़ता है वो जब आते हुए मुझको गले तुमने लगाया था अमान अल्लाह कहा मुझको मेरा बेटा बुलाया था खुदा के अम की राह में कहाँ से आ गया था वो जहाँ तुम चूमती थी माँ वहाँ तक आ गया था वो मैं सी कौम से हूँ जिसके वो बच्चों से डरता है बड़ा दुश्मन बना फिरता है जो बच्चों से डरता है बड़ा दुश्मन बना फिरता है जो बच्चों से डरता है मुझे जाना पड़ा है घर मेरा भाई करेगा आप मैं जितना ना पढ़ा वो सब मेरा भाई पढ़ेगा अभी बाबा भी बाकी है कहाँ तक जा सकोगे तुम अभी वादा रहा तुमसे यहाँ ना सकोगे तुम मैं सी कौम से हूँ जिसके वो बच्चों से डरता है बड़ा दुश्मन बना फिरता है जो बच्चों से डरता है बड़ा दुश्मन बना फिरता है जो बच्चों से लड़ता है I was getting ready for school. I felt as if something was going to happen. I was not feeling well. My mom told me that don't go to school. Yeah, but I told her that I'm all right. I felt that something was going to happen. Something different from my daily chores. 
when I was living for school, my mom gave me a hug and kissed my forehead. My hand was in my friend and I, as I was heading towards the school. At school, we all sat, friends sat together and we were happy and always will be. Our first lesson was of chemistry. Mm -hmm. In biology lesson, we all went to the auditorium. There was going to be first aid lecture. An army officer was going to teach the first aid lesson. When we were in a halfway of lesson, I heard a loud deafening sound, maybe of firecracker or army drill. I was afraid my friends were too, but then a thought flashed into my mind. Am I a brave boy like that? My, ma mm -hmm. my mind answered me, yes, yes, I am brave like my dad. Mm -hmm. By the time I already guessed that the noise was not of firecrackers, our, tree, our teacher tries to calm us down, but I knew the, that it was noise of firing. I heard heavy footsteps he heading towards the auditorium. My teacher shut the door and locked it. A cruel and horrible looking man appeared on the door. When he realized that the door was locked, he started to break it. I was proctor and I was standing near the stage. All the students hid under their chairs, hoping everything will be alright. The inhuman creature broke the door and came in. My mind kept asking me, is he human? What is he here for? Many guesses were coming in my mind. I thought it's impossible. I can't believe on my eyes. And was he going to kill us? Many other cruel men also entered the auditorium. They were glaring us with their cold and cruel eyes. Then they aimed their guns towards me and shot me on face. I was crying not because I was afraid, because I thought I was going to be no more in this world. I was going very far away from my mother and my family, my friends. After another door, they shot me on face and hand and leg. Those beasts pulled my class fellows from under their chairs and shot them blindly. Was he insane? The, the sound of my friends and all the sweet memories I had with them were going away somewhere. The memories I had with my family were going somewhere in the sky. The room was covered with a red colored liquid. I wish, I wish it was ink. The ink which my teacher used to check our homework. I know it was blood. I'm not that naive. I shouted loudly and recycled my shahadat. I thought it was the last day of my life. I will never meet my mom again. I will never meet my dad again. I will never play games with my brothers. And I will never hug my mom again. All these thoughts were coming in my mind and tears were coming out of my eyes. I was in a lot of pain. Then again that cold blooded beast looked at me and he walked towards me. But I was not afraid. Yes, I wasn't. He kicked me on my chest, and but I was bold. I know I was going to the place where my friend Saul went. For the last time, I wanted to be with my mom. I wanted to climb on my dad's shoulder as I did when I was young. All the memories and time which I spent with my parents, siblings and friends were playing as flashbacks that's in, in, in my mind. Wow, those golden memories. I close my eyes, but if Allah wills, no one can harm. This, the Savior is more potent than the destroyer. Those cold-blooded bees went outside the auditorium. They stepped towards the college wing. It was a chance for all the students who, uh, who were alive to run outside the auditorium i was in a lot of pain i saw all the students who survived they were running outside the auditorium toward the school wing i was shouting for help but no one helped me everyone is a big trauma then at last i decided to stand by my own self i decided that i will not die so easily i will stay alive and i will fight till my last breath i will never give up i tried to stand on my feet but i couldn't because my leg was also shot by them, but Allah gave me the strength. I recycled my shahadat and try again, again, and again as I started heading towards the school wing. At that time, I was falling down and standing up again and again. When I was near uh, the library, I put my hand on one of the student's shoulders to get some support, but at that time, everyone was in trauma when he pushed me. He pushed me and I fall down on the floor. The students were running over me. Then 
When I was left alone, I stand up again and started to step towards the school wing. I went to a class and lay down in front of the door. I was in a lot of pain. I was screaming. I was calling my mother, Mama, I need you. Mom, look what they had done to me. Mama, they are very cruel. Mama, please come here and hug me for the last time. I was screaming and reciting to call my father again and again. Then at last an army man came and rescued me. My father and all of my family members were searching for me. Army took me to the CMH. All of them were searching for me. My little brother was also in the same school, but by the grace of Almighty Allah, he was safe. In this attack, 144 people got murdered, in, and including 132 children. 144 families were destroyed. 144 dreams were crushed by the cold bloody peace. 132 dreams were no more. 132 future leader, doctor, engineer, sportsman, politicians, army officer, police officer, etc. were no more. So after this great conversation with Valid and his family. Uh, and also all the conversation that we have today in APS with the children and with the teachers and with the principal. What I have learned so far is the fact that this is the real picture of resilient Pakistan. This picture should be shown to the outer world where people think that we are lacking determination, we are lacking in stability. And I feel so empowered when I see these children, when they say that they want to fight back, but they want to fight with the pens. They don't want to fight back with the sword. And that they want to educate themselves and they want to serve the country. These children and their stories give the message of hope to all the Pakistanis and to the people in the outer world. This is the real picture of this nation. How resilient we are, how courageous we are. This is the future of Pakistan. And I wish everyone all the best. And today we are here to celebrate the lives and to remember all those children who are not with us today, but they will be remembered throughout in our hearts. Thank you so much.